Hello everyone, my name is Andrew Bonbosher, and today I want to show you how to sidechain your send and return effects in Reason. They are also known as bus effects, auxiliary effects, and whatnot. But I'm going to play you two examples here. This one right here is just a snare pattern, and it has a um, echo algorithm on a reverb on its send and return effect, as you can see here. And then the next one is going to be the side-chained version of that. So obviously we all know that bus effects is when you essentially add a layer to the dry signal with whatever effects of your choosing, and it can get pretty overwhelming if you're not careful. So here's an example. Let's get started. So as you can hear, it is pretty overpowering and it gets pretty loud. And of course you can turn down the return level, but then it kind of, the effect gets kind of lost in translation. So what I was thinking about was if, was if you can sidechain and compress the dry to the bus signal. And of course you can, it's reason. It, you can do that with any DAW, um, with any compressor. It doesn't have to be M-Class or any VST. So this is what it sounds like with a compression. much cleaner you can still hear the dry signal and it just works a lot better and we had the loop there so what i want to show you how to do is and well i want to show you how to do that so i got a new project opened up here and let's go to its rack and i already have it all set up but we're going to reset that whole patch and we're going to try it again so right click in the rack create a combinator and then let's just do a very simple setup here okay this is this is this isn't the right or wrong way to do it but this is uh, just a simple setup it depends on what you're using uh, let's create a line mixer and it'll automatically route into the combi and then let's just create an instance of redrum real quick very simple and i'm going to add a 15913 beat for on the floor and then we're just going to go find a random sample real quick Sure, that clap works. Okay, so let's create a DDL delay line on the line mixer. And how you do that is you just right click on the line mixer and create it. If you hold shift, it won't route, but if you don't, it'll automatically route. So let's just take a listen real quick without any side chaining. It's even clipping, you can see that on the bottom right there. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to keep this all here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a utility, a spider audio merger and splitter. I'm going to press tab to flip the rack, and I'm going to split the original signal from the redrum. So I'm going to click and drag those wires out. I'm going to split this signal here on the splitter. I'm going to take the first split signal to uh, the first channel on the line mixer, and then I'm going to press tab to flip the rack again. I'm then going to create a compressor on this DDL delay line on the send effect. If I can find it, there it is. And then what I'm going to do is press tab again, and I'm going to take the second split signal from the redrum to the sidechain in of the effects here. And then at that point, it's just like sidechain compression on anything else. Turn down the threshold if you want, increase the ratio for more of a pulse effect for the, and the threshold. Turn down the attack and up the release. And then this is what you have. Much more controlled, a lot easier to work with, and you can do whatever you want with it. And um, so that is it. I just wanted to show you a way to kind of tame your send effects so that you can really maximize the potential of what they have. And um, you can do this with any DAW, of course. But uh, in any compressor, you don't need an M-Class compressor to do this. But everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. And I hope you learned something here. Very simple process. And if you have any questions, concerns, or comments, let me know in the comments and uh, tell, me, tell me what you did with this. And don't forget to subscribe, and so that way you can stay updated on how much more I can give you as far as this type of content. And then, of course, like that video so more people can get this information out to them quicker. Uh, but other than that, again, thank you so much, and we'll see you next time.